Welcome to this tutorial about audio plugins on Linux with Ardor 5. In this tutorial I want to show you how you use your audio plugins with Ardor 5. If not done yet, please watch my other video about audio plugins on Linux in general. I talk about where to find the plugins and how you can install them there. So here you can see Ardor. Normally Order scans for your plugins and should find them. But you can also go to Preferences, Plugins and Scan for Plugins. And also scan for VST plugins here. And change the path for your VST plugins here. So back into the editor view. When you want to add a plugin you click to your track and then click right click here into this area and new plugin here you can see the favorites the plugin manager you can see the plugins by creator or by category when you click to plugin manager you can see all your plugins here with the different types the category and the creator let's close this again so on this drums track we may want to have a little bit of compression. So we click right click here, new plugin by category and then click compressor. Here you can choose a compressor you're already familiar with or you want to use now. I choose the calf mono compressor. So the first thing we do is click solo here so that we can just hear the drum track. The next thing we do is click loop to hear it. Let's put the uh, attack a little bit down. Here you can see the reduction. And put the ratio a little bit down. And maybe the release a little bit down too. Yeah, something like that. And close it again. So if you want to have a side-by-side -side comparison with and without the plugin, we click loop again and then we click this little green knob here. This is without the plugin and this is with the plugin. So we switch to the guitar rhythm track. We click solo here and then solo there. So on the guitar rhythm track I want to add a EQ. I click right click here again by category and equalizer and I choose this free band EQ here. This is just a simple free band EQ with the low, mid and high here. Let's see what it does. We click loop again and for the guitar rhythm I want to cut the lows a little bit push the mids here and also push the highs Put this back a bit. okay so for the bass I want to use a low pass filter I click here solo again choose the bass track right click here new plugin by category filter and then I choose the calf filter here. So for the low pass filter I choose 24 dB and as you can hear now it's gone. But here the bass is coming and let's say like something like this. Put a little bit of resonance on it. Close this again. So let's hear it all together. Click solo again, start from the beginning and then click loop. I put the bass a little bit down, maybe the drums a little bit back. Stop. 
you can also use MIDI and MIDI plugins. Just click right click here to add a new MIDI track here. And you can choose your instrument here. I've chosen calf organ. And then click add. We can name this track by double clicking here. Let's name this organ. You can choose your MIDI inputs here but I've already prepared a little MIDI snippet. For importing this, I click right click here, insert existing media, click on this organ file here, and then click import, and click close again. Here you can see the MIDI data. If we push this a little bit back down here, we can see the piano roll here. Let's hear what it sounds like. Put the volume a little bit back. Okay. I now want to use a filter on this too. Click right click here, new plugin, by category filter and car filter again. Let's hear it. Something like this. A bit of resonance. Okay. So let's hear this all together again. Click solo back and then click loop. We put the organ a little bit back. So this was my short tutorial about audio plugins on Linux with Auto5. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video. If you have any questions, ask them down below in the comment section. I see you in the next video.